pallidosis disease or pallidosis related decline of strawberries is a disease vectored by a complex of viruses transmitted by white flies, aphids, thrips, pollen, seeds, nematodes and other sources. Disease occurs only when one of the white fly transmitted viruses is present in the plant along with one of the other viruses. Which means disease does not appear when only an aphid or a white fly transmitted virus is present. It requires both kinds of viruses to be present in the plant at the same time. White fly transmitted viruses include beech pseudo yellows and strawberry pallidosis associated viruses. Examples of non white fly transmitted viruses include strawberry necrotic shock virus transmitted by thrips, pollen, and seed, strawberry latent ring spot virus transmitted by nematodes and seed, and strawberry crinkle, strawberry mottle, and strawberry mild yellow edge viruses transmitted by aphids. Pallidosis virus could be latent in the production fields and generally does not produce severe symptoms without this synergistic interaction with other viruses. Symptoms include stunted plant growth, purple or red coloration, especially of older leaves and brittle roots. When infection progresses, leaves dry out and plants eventually die as the affected root system fails to supply the nutrients required by the plant. Disease symptoms vary depending on the type of viruses present. Newly emerged leaves from old and cut back plants may not show infection symptoms due to the seasonal fluctuations of virus titers, but these viruses are systemic and once acquired, they remain in the plant. When pollen borne virus is involved, plants may recover from the symptoms of infection. Greenhouse whitefly and strawberry aphid are important vectors that contribute to this disease. Once acquired, viruses persist in aphids but are short lived in white flies. Pruning or application of fungicides or other materials does not control this disease. Using virus free transplants from a clean source is the first step to prevent the introduction of viruses into the production fields. Regular monitoring and effective control of the vectors, especially the greenhouse whitefly, is critical for preventing the spread of this disease. Good nutrition and optimal irrigation are always important to promote healthy plant growth.